Number 18, this is Daniel Louis, who says, Hi, Mike, is God actively judging the world today or is all judgment held out till the second coming? When negative things happen, like natural disasters, how much of this can we say is God's judgment? So God is actively judging the world in a variety of ways today. Um, I would affirm that because A, in the Old Testament, he often uses natural disasters as ways of judging. B, in the New Testament, Jesus even predicts the destruction of towns and stuff like that. C, in Revelation, we have discussions of God's future judgment on the world as bowls of judgment are poured out. And that takes the form of natural disasters. So old, new, and prophetic about the future, we have good reasons to think that God does that. But is here's, here's where it gets challenging. Is every natural disaster a judgment of God? No. Like, for instance, look at the book of Job. In the book of Job, we have some of those are natural disasters. A wind comes and knocks the house down, right? Lightning strikes and destroys. These are natural disasters, but they're actually satanically being orchestrated. Okay, so they weren't judgment, right? There was something else going on. We also have um, Jesus who talks about how a man, <clears throat> there, were, there were a group of people who were killed when this tower fell, a building fell down and killed people. A tower, and I can't remember the name where it was. Salome? Anyway, this tower fell, killed people. And Jesus challenges those who think that this is because they were being judged for their sin. And he pushes back and suggests no. And his argument is interesting because it sounds like he says, hey, if God was just judging, if every time somebody's getting punished, they're getting punished for sin, well, God would just kill you all. Because, because if judgment was just ongoing, constant, always perfect, um, perfectly suited to, to sin, we would all just be slain. So, so yeah, God's actually not judging in the sense of final judgment right now. But natural disasters can and are used by God. The tough part for me and you, Daniel, is knowing when that is. So if there's a hurricane and someone dies in the hurricane, am I supposed to be like, God caused that, that was judgment? Or do I take a perhaps a humble approach knowing Job, knowing the story of the destruction of this, um, of the killing of the people from that tower falling? And I take the humble approach and say, I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not in the mind of God. I'm not seeing the spiritual realm. I just don't know. So I tend to take the more humble approach. And let me just say this. There, there's a sort of arrogance of thinking that I can vaguely hear about a disaster somewhere else in the world and just spiritually know why it happened. That is not a biblical thing. That is a spiritual arrogance thing. And that I've seen too many times. 